G'day and welcome to Dave's Model Workshop. Uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about a really invaluable material that I use for scratch building and for detailing models. And the secret to obtaining this material is drink more, which is a wonderful, wonderful task to have to get through. So, the material is this stuff. It's the foil that comes around the top of bottles. So you can either, the, the two ways I get it are from the top of whiskey bottles. Generally single malt whiskies have this really lovely thick, I don't think it's lead, but I'm going to call it lead from now on. I would assume they wouldn't put lead on foodstuffs, but I'm going to call it lead. Lead foil around the top of whiskey bottles to seal it in, and it's great. You can also get it on wine bottles, um, not the modern screw top versions but more old-fashioned wine bottles that still have actual corks in them some of them have them tends to be sort of I've found a lot of cheap Italian wine has it and you can just pull it straight off the top and then you can get to the cork but this is this is French this is Italian oh no this is French this is Italian I don't know and this one's an Australian one so yeah they're out there they're less common than the screw tops these days but they're definitely out there um, <clears throat> so what can, well, let's go through where you get it first. The wine bottle ones tend to be a little bit thinner, so they're a little less heavy weight than the whiskey bottles. And the way to take it off your whiskey bottle, I have my current whiskey bottle here. It's a nice drop. And you can see at the top, so there's like a generally a little sort of tag you pull off, and then the, the bit that's covering the actual bottle cap comes off and then you're left with this sleeve around the top and basically to remove it grab yourself a scalpel grab yourself some focus all right find the seam so there's a seam up the back I hope you can see that there and that's the best place to cut it this is hard with a camera in front of my face um, and generally sneak your scalpel in under the seam I normally wouldn't cut towards my fingers, but today I will. Done. There you have it. There's my next one. And you get to finish the whiskey in the meantime. Hooray! So, there is my next lead foil ready for use. So what can you use it for? A million things, uh, literally a million things. I'll show you what I made yesterday. So I'm busy working on my second scratch built 120th scale house. And this little lock here is made out of foil. The, the actual mechanism, this little piece that the bolt goes through, so this bit, this bit, and the backing plate are all made out of foil. This little piece here is also made out of foil. And it's just the most versatile. I'll show you a close-up shot because it's really hard to see this here, so I'll show you a close-up photo now. I was really happy with it. I love working with this stuff. Um, this big panel here is actually aluminium from an aluminium beer can. Um, this is the can. Meh, <laughs> I don't recommend the stuff, but I cut out a big panel from the pan, uh, from the can, and I wanted something that I could put indentations into and they would stay, and I wanted something that was flat, so I didn't want something that was terribly malleable. Um, it didn't need to fold it, didn't need to bend it, just needed it to be flat. And you can see the difference between this is a little piece left over, aluminium from a can and this foil stuff. So the aluminium from a can, it doesn't really bend, it stays in shape. Whereas this stuff, you bend it, it's just so malleable. Focus. It's just so malleable. You know, you can bend it to whatever shape you want and it holds it perfectly, instantly, and it stays in shape. So, I'm going to show you a couple of the things that I've used this for. I'm going to get rid of my charming wine bottle backdrop and show you some actual stuff. So to start with, this is a piece of foil. I cut some tree branch sort of palm leaf shapes out of it, bent them a little bit, 
and turn them into this. It's also perfect for seat belts or also rifle slings like this. But the thing that I'm currently using this the most for, and I love it for this, I just love working with this stuff, it's really beautiful to work with. So I'm just going to try and cut a fairly straight version. It can twist a little bit when you cut it off, but because it's so malleable, it's really easy to flatten out again. So yeah, that would be great for a rifle sling if it wasn't quite so crooked, but you know, again, doing it with a camera in front of my face. Um, <clears throat> so what it's great for is for making little tiny holders for pipes and things. So I used this a lot on my scratch-built seahorse a year ago, my sci-fi thing. Um, if you haven't seen it, I'll show you a photo of one of the pieces here. Yeah, this is what I love it for. So, here's a pipe. So I had to mount this pipe to a piece of wall. Let's cut off a little sliver. That'll do nicely. So, you would dab a little dab of super glue on the wire. And it can be wire, it can be styrene, rod, whatever you want to use. Dab a little dab of super glue on. Put that on top of the super glue and then using some tweezers, just bend it either side of the wire. Bang! Perfect. Then, if you want to get really tricky and get decent focus, what? That didn't work. Okay, All right. So, if you want to get really tricky, you can then cut off some little tiny pieces of styrene rod and put a bolt there, super glue them on, bolt there, bolt there. Bob's your uncle. I love it for that. It's the best. So yeah, there are a million and one uses for this stuff. Anytime that you need something that's like a thick paper, but you know it's got more, more strength than that, and you know it's malleable, and you know it's going to hold its shape, and it's not going to bend easily, this is the stuff. Um, massively recommend it. It's my number one trick for scratch building and getting free materials. It's really versatile, and you'll start to use it, you'll think of a million places to use it. It's the best stuff. Um, I think I actually used it for... I'll show you another photo. I used it for the cloth on the back of a Japanese officer's hat. I'll show you a photo here. It is just, it is just the best stuff ever. All right, and again, the bonus is it gives you an excuse to buy a nice bottle of single malt. If you haven't got some of this stuff already, go and buy a nice bottle of single malt. You get to enjoy it. Dalwini is nice. My preference is Lafroy. Uh, this stuff, and it's a perfect excuse to buy it <sighs> and drink it. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, I hope you're all well. I hope this is helpful. And I hope the title wasn't too clickbaity. It was meant to be fun, not clickbait. Um, and if you've got any questions, please comment below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time on Dave's Model Workshop. I'll give you a little sneak peek here of what I'm building right now. Hang on a second. Let's get away from that. Go around here. Oh, the light's terrible. Okay. There we are. Slightly better lighting. And this is my current build. All right, guys. Hope you like it. Check you next time. Bye.